Okay, when we're talking about tomato plant nutrients, when you look at the numbers on a fertilizer bag, the things that you're going to notice is that you'll see like an N, which could be a 10, a P, which can be a 14, and a K, which can be a 20. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, what does NPK mean anyways? NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. When you look at this bag here, you see four numbers on here. You see your four, your 18, and your 38. That's your nitrogen, your phosphorus, and your potassium. There's also 13 other elements in that bag too, which would be your, we already know your nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, but also you got your zinc, you got your molybdenum, you got your magnesium, your sulfur, you also have your calcium, you also have your strontium, and such, and so on and so on and so forth, and boron. The reason why I wanna bring this up to you also is that 13 elements, or 16 elements when you include carbon, oxygen and hydrogen which naturally comes from the air and the water there is more to this i believe that plants can utilize the goal is is to be able to have hybrid tomatoes that have a very high nutrient density someone once said that it can't be done you can't reach hybrid in hydroponics so then i started reading books by c agri and shout out to C. Agri for the C90 and also for Dr. Menard Murray, you know, rest in peace, as he actually began to research and began to understand the importance of using sea minerals in tomato plant growth. But not only tomato plants, but anything that you grow. Now, let me explain to you why I'm using Tropic Marine Reef Salt or Quantum Salt and also C90. All of these salts are used in saltwater aquariums. In fact, C90 actually comes naturally from the ocean. It's not altered, it's not modified, it's naturally taken from the ocean. The water itself is naturally evaporated, so what is left behind? Basically all the elements on the periodic table in perfect balance. My, my fish tank uses C90. I've been using C90 for over 10 years in my hydroponics to actually give the other nutrients and minerals and such to my tomato plants. The main thing is, is that what we're trying to understand and what we want to figure out is can you use salt that comes from the ocean or using salt that you buy at your local reef store to even using your hydroponic systems to grow tomato plants in hydroponics? Well, the truth is, yes, you can. You sure can. And let me explain why. When you're thinking about salts, you're probably wondering, oh, salt kills plants. That is true to an extent, but salt also kills people too. It's true. Salt is inorganic and the human body wants organic. Table salt or sodium chloride is actually toxic to the human body. But plants want inorganic. Plants take up inorganic elements in the ionic form. Then it takes carbon from the air that we breathe and takes that carbon atom, hooks it up to the inorganic element, and now that inorganic element has now become organic. Plants want inorganic. The human body wants organic. When you're dealing with hydroponics, the one thing that you got to remember is this. In hydroponics, you're not using soil. You're doing what is called soilless gardening. And in soilless gardening, you're using a mixture of what we would call coco car or perlite or vermiculite or rock roll cubes, anything that does not contain soil. All soil is, is pretty much an anchor point. Like a ship puts down an anchor and holds it in place. Or trees use roots to hold it in place. Basically what a plant would take up is pretty much ions. And these ions would be your calcium, your nitrogen, your phosphorus, your potassium, those. And like I said before, each ion could be a cation, which is a positively charged ion, or an anion, which could be a negatively charged ion. That is something vital to remember. Ions is the only form that the only form of elements that the plants would naturally take up. Calcium, when it's down to its most basic level, is an ion. Nitrogen, at its most basic level, an ion. Molybdenum, boron, strontium, gold, copper. It doesn't matter what it is on the periodic table. At its most basic level, its atomic level is an ion. And that is the only form that tomato plants will take up through their leaves. I want to thank you all for visiting my channel. And please like and subscribe if you would like to learn more about hydroponic gardening with using reef salts. Thank you all for so very, very much. And remember, if it can grow a coral, it can grow a plant. Take care of yourselves. God bless.